Hello, welcome. I want to solve this problem in a second way and just take a moment, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so this solution I'm about to show about this problem is from one of my students, so we'll call it Dot's Method. And here we know that Abby paints twice as fast as Beth and three times as fast as Kathy. So before we go any further, uh, what the student said was, all right, well, let's say Abby can paint um, her rate is one. She can paint one whole room or one whole whatever. Uh, Beth would then paint half of whatever Abby could do, and Kathy would paint a third of that. So these are the amounts that they could paint. These are their essentially their rates, right? So the first thing we identify is their rate. And then I thought this was really clever um, to do an area model to solve this problem. So if we have a little area model, we can say, all right, well, if let's say that we split this up into one, and I'll explain why she split it up this way, two, three, four, five, and then a half. Let me fix that last bar. Oh boy. <laughs> Boom. So this is essentially five and a half piece, right? So this is a half right here. Start right on the bottom. It's not letting me right on top. That's a half of a piece. And these are each one. So what, what our students said was that, all right, let's start with Kathy. She's the, she's the slowest. So if she paints one piece of this model, right, then Abby would paint three times that. So this portion right here would be painted by Abby. And then um, Beth would paint, so Abby paints three times what Kathy does. Oops, that looks terrible. Um, Beth paints half of whatever Abby paints. So if Abby paints three pieces, she would paint one half of that. So a half of three is one and a half pieces. So this, this model is where my students started and then said, well, okay, well, that's five and a half pieces. That's confusing. Let me double this to, a, and if you double five and a half, you get 11 pieces. So imagine this model doubled in size. That tells you that Abby paints um, right here. Out of this model, she would paint six out of eleven pieces. That's her rate. Kathy would paint, um, flip that arrow, uh, two out of eleven, and Beth would paint one and a half doubled, three out of elevenths. So this is a really clever model, like starting with Kathy and then building it up. Like I don't think my students started by drawing five and a half pieces like I did. I think she started by drawing a piece for Kathy, tripling it to represent Abby, and then thinking how many pieces would I need for Beth. I think it's five and a half pieces. So these are the, the rates, or the fractions of the room that they each painted. So we know distance equals rate times time. So here, the, the amount of room, the room that she's going to paint is one. That's our distance. She has to accomplish that. We know her rate is now six elevenths. We're trying to solve for the time. In other words, how long, we know that it would, her rate is six elevenths of a room, right, per hour or whatever you want to say, whatever the time unit is. How long would it take her? How much time would it take her to paint a full room? You're solving this equation. You multiply by both sides by eleven six, and that's the answer. Eleven six it would take her. Eleven six of an hour, which is one and five six of an hour, which is one hour and fifty minutes. So that was a really clever approach on this problem. Thank you.